Hey guys, welcome to another quick tutorial. So the question is, how do you take a file that you created in InDesign and put it in a format that can go onto platforms like Behance or um, other plat portfolio platforms like that, or maybe even on the web? So super easy, here we go. All right, so I have um, this Zoom background that, um, that I created. So I'm in InDesign, I'm done with it. So now I need to go ahead and send this somewhere else. So I'm gonna go to File and I'm gonna go to Export, right? So that's all I did was File Export. Um, I'm gonna choose the folder, I'm gonna keep it in its default folder, but if I look down here in Formats, I have JPEG. So I already have the format that I wanna use. I also have PNG, EPUB, and other formats as well. But I have the JPEG format right here, so I can choose JPEG. And I can choose save. And I already have a copy of this. So let me just change the name real quick. Let me put a uh, demo. All right. So now I've changed the name. All right. So now I have the JPEG. I'm going to do save again. And so now then I get this export option with options. Do I want just page one? So if I have multiple pages, I can actually export them all as JPEG. It'll just put like a number behind them. So I could do all pages um, if I had that. Um, and I would just make sure I select range. So I would select range and then, or honestly, actually, if I hit all, which is the default, it's going to export all the pages. But if I had certain pages, like let's say I didn't want page three, but I wanted page one, um, the same way you do in any other program, you can hit the comma. And if I wanted, you know, page three, I can hit a comma. Maybe I want seven through... 10 at that right so maybe this is the range that i want i don't want all the pages but i want certain pages so the comma separates each page and then you can do the range with the dash like i just did here which is pretty cool so i want to make sure i tell you that just in case you um come across that so i'm going to choose all like it is if i had pages and spreads um right now i just have pages but if i had a spread and i wanted it in spread view which is like how you look at a magazine where you get the whole landscape view of both pages at once, I could choose that as well. But I just have a page, so this is cool. I always make sure that quality is at maximum. Um, and here's the other area that I pay attention to. Um, the resolution, if this is for print, I'm going to change this resolution to be about 300. Or if I'm sending it to a printer, I'll ask them. It could be between 150 to 1200, just depends. Um, uh, 300 is usually the default though. So I could change that to default if I know that I'm going to print this out. I know that this is Zoom background for me and it's going to be hands. I'm going to keep it at 72, which is the screen, default uh, screen resolution. And the color space for um, anything that's going to be a screen defaults at RGB. But if I was, you know, sending it to print, I actually would still keep it at RGB and let the printer convert it um, from RGB to CMYK. However, um, there are two sides to that and there's two arguments on that and that's fine um for me it's always looked better but like i said there's two sides to that but anyway um but if you wanted to convert it you can convert it to cmyk we're for my class we're putting our stuff on behind so these are the settings that are going to work best for you guys okay so really it's pretty much uh the default and then you hit export and it's going to export it into that folder um that you have set for it. So now I'm going to find it um, in my folder because I wanna also show you guys how to carry, well, you know what, I'm gonna end this video here because I do have another video showing you how to import it into Behance. So this video specifically is just how to export your file that you create or your project from InDesign and how to export it into a format for, like I said, um, places like Behance or portfolio places and things like that. All right. So I'm going to end the video here. That's all I have for you for this one. Until the next video, ta-ta for now.